Hi. Mm. Sorry, I'm late. Mm -hmm. AJ cornered me as I was leaving for my class. He made another date for us, Cafe Matisse. Dates with AJ are what you wanted. Now you got him. That's right. I should probably jump at every chance for fun I get before your lawyer sends me back to Ferncliff. Who said Alexis wants to send you back to Ferncliff? She did. I'm real popular these days, Jace. Your little sister called me a lying tramp, and Alexis said that I was a gold-digging psychotic. When did all this happen? Last night, when you were upstairs with Michael. You know, I told you to get a tough lawyer, but come on, you hired Alexis, the warrior princess? Carly, she's bluffing. Fine. Tell her to knock it off. She scared the hell out of me, Jason. Alexis knows that I want Michael to have his mother. Okay. Right now, he needs his daddy, though, you know? He needs his real daddy, not some freak who passed the blood test. He was so incredibly happy with you last night and this morning. <laughs> and I was so happy for you guys. I just, I couldn't show it much, you know, without AJ noticing. You don't need to take AJ down. Look how the judge changed his mind and let me visit Michael. Alexis can probably talk him into maybe giving me permanent custody. You can just walk away from the court means. That's it. No, Jason. That's not what I want. Carl. The only way that we are ever going to stop the Quartermains is to stop him for good, which is why I have to marry AJ and ruin his life. Car you, just forget it. You're going to do what you want anyway. It doesn't matter. Do you know that every single day I dream about the day that I can leave the Quartermains and I can be with you and Michael? Do you? I mean, do you have any idea? Do you really think I enjoy dinners with AJ? Do you, do you think I'm scarfing down these french fries for any other reason except there's nothing decent to eat at Cafe Matisse? The entire place smells like wall-to-wall -wall mushrooms? I can't stand mushrooms. He orders all this weird stuff that makes my skin crawl, and then I have to sit there and listen to him go on for an hour whining about Michael. This man who wanted to throw me back in Ferncliff and take away my son. I have to sit there and tell him what a great dad he is. Do you have any idea? Do you understand how much I hate that? We have to understand one thing, Carly. Michael comes first. Now and always, okay? While I'm working on the always with AJ, you just work on the now with Michael, okay? When you see him tonight, I want you to tell him that mommy sends love, okay? And give him this for me. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the fries at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, grandmother. Hey, hello, my darling Jason. So good to see you back here again. Hmm. Michael's very happy about it too. Yes, am I. Well, hey, Reginald. Good night, my dear, and good night to the little one too. Good night. You know, Michael is so different when you're around. It took him, what, like five minutes to fall asleep? Uh, more like 20. Mm. He'll wake up later and want me to read him his book. So that means you're going to stay till then, right? Yeah, that's the idea. You know, it's funny. Whenever Michael's really happy, it just seems like everything's perfect, you know? Is that how it works for you, too? Yeah. I don't get it. I, I don't see how... How anybody can't know that, that Michael needs you. I'm glad you know. Because I wouldn't be here right now if you hadn't told Dr. Smith the truth. Was there any trouble after I left? Mm, not really. I mean, everyone was kind of upset that I told all the family secrets, but grandfather's usually annoyed with something anyway. Everyone else understood why I did it. AJ's the only one who's really mad at me. He thinks I hate him, Jason, and I... I don't. I'm, I'm sorry that he feels so bad. He thinks that... that you stole his son, and... well, if I thought that too, I'd probably be angry. 
Do you think I was wrong? You know, saying I'd be Michael's father when Carly asked me? No. I think you did the only thing that you could do. I mean, you did what was best for Michael, and there can't be anything wrong with that. The person that I blame for making everyone so unhappy is Carly. Friend, Jason, but I have no idea why. I mean, you guys are the exact opposite of each other in every single way. She's the biggest liar that ever lived. And the way she kisses up to Grandfather and AJ is so gross. It's almost as bad as the way they fall for it. Why, why do you care if Carly's playing games? Because she hurts people. Look at how she's hurt you by taking Michael and bringing him here. That's exactly what she's going to do to AJ Emily, again. you don't have to fight Carly for me. You just keep an eye on Michael. You know, one reason I didn't go crazy leaving him here is because I knew his godmother would protect him. And I do. <sighs> From his own mother sometimes. Michael needs to be with his mother. Just take it easy on Carly when Michael's around, okay? I will. For you and for Michael, but... I'm sorry. I'm still gonna hate Carly. Okay, look at this one right here. No, this guy is not in the mood for stories. No, he isn't. He uh, looks like he's gonna skip the book and want to play. So tell me, Daddy. how do you know what Michael wants? Well, he tells me usually. You know, if he, if he wants something, he reaches for it, right? If he's quiet but not tired, he wants a story. And if he's wiggling around like right now, he wants to play. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if I can't figure out what he wants, I just think what I would want. A drink of water, a walk outside. Or, you know, usually works for Michael, too. Right? Mm -hmm. Now I know why his favorite word is dad da. <laughs> Everything's going to be okay, Michael. You'll see. You're right. Everything is going to be okay for everybody. Uh. Hey, sweetie. Thanks. I, uh, I stopped by the warehouse after I saw Michael this morning. Construction's almost finished. The first shipment of coffee is due in three weeks, and we got guys lining up for legit jobs. They are sick of Marino. He knows. He knows we were the ones behind the drug bust. You sure? He had Luke's club vandalized. Marino's looking to make another move. Maybe soon. If anything happens to Marino, you're going to be the prime suspect. You lose my... Leave him alone. I'm... We'll just use the cops to shut him down. Okay. I'll find out when his next shipment's landing and, and make sure they know. Hell, at the rate we're going, they'll be, they'll be making us deputies. I don't know. Do you want me to call uh, Justice in on this one? He may not be around that long. I was at the bridge, looking around where his tire blew out. I found this under a trestle across from the bridge. I imagine the slug from the shell matches the hole in his tire. Now, Sonny, when Marino makes his next move, he'll be coming after you. He doesn't care about me. To him, I'm just an errand boy. But you could lose your life. Nice. <sighs> Marino's expecting another shipment tonight. You know as a fact? I heard it on the docks from Tiso. You know, he can get himself in trouble. Yeah, they don't know he hurt. You know, he hates working for Marino. He told me to tell you, actually, that if we need him, just say the word. Did you tell him I don't need him? That I'm out? I'm out all the way? Yeah, I'll check it out. Okay? And if it's like Tiso says, then I'll tip off to PCPD. As long as you know what you're doing. No, Marino's gonna know it was us. He's gonna know it was you. 
or he's gonna think. Okay, this makes twice. We're choking his supply. If he thinks the problem is you, he's gonna want to get rid of the problem. Your point is? My point is that you're gonna take Johnny or Francis everywhere you go, and you're gonna avoid all open areas. The Elm Street Pier, forget it. Don't even go down there. What are you, my crossing yeah. guard? You should be one to talk. The chances I take are so I can hold on to Michael. What are your reasons? What are you gonna get? Except dead or shot? Did Tiso say when the night the shipment was landing? Early, he thought. I've got the location. I'll stake it out. When the stuff arrives, I'll call the cops. So you gotta make sure you get yourself clear. Our friends Taggart and Garcia would love nothing better than to uh, catch you in the vicinity of a major <laughs> drug bust. I was, uh, I was thinking of going to Jake's afterwards. You wanna meet me there, shoot some pool? What are you getting worse than Mike? What do you think? Uh, Marina's gonna come after me here? Let me try. I'll take I care. I thought it would be good for you to be out in public doing something else when all this goes down. Out in public at a, at a dive like Jake's? Come on, Jason. When you were going, I found out the hardest thing is not what I thought it was. You know, the stuff I'm doing, finding the ship, man, calling the cops, that's the easy part. Laying out what to do, letting somebody else take the risk, and waiting. That's what's hard. So when I'd send somebody else to do something, a lot of times I would just play pool to keep my mind off waiting. And if Marino does decide to come, he's not going to come looking for you at Jake's. Okay, I'll see you at Jake's. <laughs>